All right, it is time to take on UCLA, another former Pac-12 rival, I guess you could say. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. We are at the University of Los Angeles in California, and we are taking on the UCLA uh, football team, and I think this is going to be pretty easy. That I don't think they're very good, and we have invested in very important uh, positions offensively that have made us pretty elite, I believe. So I think this is going to be pretty easy to win. Uh, but. It's always possible to make mistakes, and that's why we have to play these games, that's why they matter, because it is quite possible that mistakes can be made, and we have lost some games we should not lose, so we have to make sure we do our best, and we should be able to remain almost undefeated. We do have that one loss, I was going to say undefeated, but we do have that one loss as Washington, and uh, we still have quite a bit to go through the season, so... A little bit nervous about that. Our one loss is to Oregon and overtime. That was a crazy game. If you haven't seen that, you should probably go watch that. It's a pretty fun game to watch. And we are playing as UCLA first. They're going to get the ball first and unfortunately move right down the field on us. And I'm going to... Ooh, I did not mean to change that to bullet throw. There we go. It's regular. I haven't really gotten a lot of practice with the bullet throw and I'm not really sure what the benefit of it is. Sometimes I accidentally hit the button to do a bullet throw. Um... I'm gonna go for, let's see, UCLA probably go for one. Whenever I'm playing as the other team, oh wow, I that miss. Whenever I play as the other team, I always try to act kind of like the computer would as far as decision making when it comes to uh, field goals and fourth down situations and time management and all of that. Uh, but when I'm playing as the main team, which in this case is Washington, I try to play like I would play, which is a little bit more aggressive and taking risks. So here we go. Time to do a handoff and went right between the two UCLA players. And I'm running right down the field. And the thing about my running back is he has really good speed. His strength isn't the best, but his speed is really good. So if he can get away, he can go a long ways down the field. And here comes another long pass there for 17 yards. And we are one play away, I think, from getting our first score of the game. And oh, I got batted down. Okay, we're very close though. Let's try a handoff and see if that will do it. Ooh, okay. Third and goal. This is when the pressure starts to get on a little bit. I'm going to try to throw in the middle, and that will be caught. Finally, we get the touchdown and tie up the score. I'm going to go for two here. I often like to do that just to give myself a little bit of extra padding. Oh, okay. Well, it's going to be six to six. We didn't even get it. So the score is tied with uh, 33 seconds left in the first quarter. And this return for UCLA is not even going to get to the 20. It's going to be a passing play by UCLA going towards the sideline. And it's going to be caught for a 14 yard gain and a first down. Now a handoff by UCLA is going to get the ball down to the 35 yard line. It's only about a three yard gain. Second and seven. At the 35, UCLA throwing it and getting it complete for a 10-yard gain and another first down close to midfield. It's going to be a handoff now going to the side and just going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Quarterback looking to throw, trying to find somebody open, gets it to the sideline and complete for a first down and quite a bit more, 15 yards, and UCLA in Washington territory for the second time today. Wide open receiver for UCLA is going to get down to the 20 and UCLA is in the red zone for the second time today already. So this team that I thought was going to be easy to beat seems to be giving us a little bit of problems and that's going to be after a missed tackle a touchdown by UCLA to take the lead again and UCLA going for two to make up for the missed extra point and it will be good so UCLA up UCLA I'm trying to talk too fast is up by eight points that is a little bit terrifying seeing as how I thought this was going to be a very easy game and all of a sudden we're playing catch up and our defense can't seem to stop them even once we need to run the rest of this clock out so that we can score last I don't oh I think UCLA started with the ball in the first half so that is a huge advantage for us because that means that we start with the ball in the second half 
And if we score here, we can pull ahead in the second half. And that will be very necessary here, as I don't think we're going to get any stops when it comes to UCLA. All right, broke a bunch of tackles, and my wide receiver is just running away with it. But I'm not ready to score yet, so I'm actually going to go down after a 41-yard gain. We are in the red zone, but I've got to take some more time off the clock. So that means it's time for a quarterback run. And I'm going to try squeeze between the defenders, and instead I get killed over there with a one-yard loss. Not how I wanted that to go. Oh, wow, I handed off a three-yard loss, two losses in a row. That is not the kind of plays that we want. We want positive plays, not negative plays. And we'll get the first down, so... Uh, got a little bit nervous there when it became third and 14, but we still were able to get the first down. And I'm just going to hold on this ball a little bit, and after holding on to it for a few seconds, just kind of run around here, not get the touchdown, but get a few more yards out of it. And that ought to be pretty safe, so let's just go ahead and get the touchdown with 22 seconds left. And we have to get the two-point conversion here to tie it up. And I'm going to have to run for it because nothing is open. And I'm going to go to the edge and die for it. And we get the two-point conversion to tie it up. 14-14. to 14. UCLA now has 22 seconds to try to do something with this ball before halftime. And we'll take the touchback. That will save them a good bit of time. And uh, thankfully, UCLA doesn't quite have the explosive playmakers that Washington has. So as a result, uh, it's kind of their only way to move the ball is kind of little plays at a time. And that is not what you... Oh, wow, that was a bad throw. That is not what you need if you want to score very quickly. We actually have a chance now because of that interception to try to score, but uh, it's very unlikely that I would be able to get anything. But you never know. I'm going to try something downfield. Okay, it was a good catch, but he was taken down immediately. And that will end the time of the first half. So UCLA now kicking the ball off. We have a chance here to finally gain a lead. I think, that, I guess it would be the first time this entire game, the entire first half we were either trailing or tied. So here we are trying to finally get a lead for the first time. And I think if we score two more times and use up all the clock, we should be good. And that's gonna be a big first down there. Still two minutes left in the third quarter. And here comes another touchdown, I think, unless they catch me, and they're not going to. Touchdown for 43 yards. Washington back on top. Or actually on top for the first time. Uh, I'm going to go for two here. I need all the points I can get in this game, and we will get the two-point conversion, and that will make it an eight-point game with two minutes and 30 seconds in the third quarter. UCLA now trying to answer... Gonna be a handoff. Or I guess you could say a short pass to the running back. That went basically three yards, so not much gain out of that. It's gonna have to be thrown away now. Uh, there actually was a receiver open, but it was seen a little bit too late. And here's an open receiver, and that will be a first down. So UCLA having to take these short little throws to stay alive on each drive and methodically go down the field. There are no explosive plays by this UCLA offense. Just a bunch of kind of little throws that just are very difficult to defend. Let me just say that. My defense has not done anything to stop it so far. But thankfully, we at least haven't given up the big explosive plays. Which actually may be a bad thing because if you don't, if you give up the explosive plays, at least the team scores quickly and doesn't use up too much of the time. But when they can just go methodically down the field, they use up a lot of time. Now that was an explosive play. I was just talking about how we don't give up, give up explosive plays and we give up a 45 yard pass. So I guess we do give it up explosive plays every once in a while, uh, even to this not that great offense. And UCLA going for two to try to match the score, and they will get it. So we're back to being tied 22 to 22 with one minute left in the third quarter. Actually, I might need to score two more times. Uh, my thought is if I can score very quickly, then I have a good chance of scoring two more times. But I'm going to have to score very quickly to have enough time to score and get the ball back. Oh, nice. Okay, that's what we're looking for right there. Perfect. I'm going to try to juke him if I can. I can't quite do it. But we get 39 yards out of that pass. 
My goal is to score before the three minutes, or I guess you can say before the end of the third quarter. That way we have a full quarter to try to get the ball back and score again. Eight yard gain there. Ugh, only seven seconds left in this quarter. And we got it, okay. So we were able to score barely in the third quarter and I'm going to go for two again. I've been doing it and we've needed every point we can get. 30 to 22, we have an eight point to lead again. Three minutes left in this entire game and we are only up by a touchdown and every touchdown that we have gotten has been answered by UCLA. Ooh. Batted up in the air, there's a chance we could have intercepted that, but we're not able to, unfortunately. That would have probably ended the game. UCLA now getting all these first downs. Another big first down, another explosive play for UCLA. All of a sudden, they're not even that fast. I'm not even sure how they're getting that many yards. 46 yards? He was barely moving. I don't understand how he did that. My defense must be really slow for that to happen. And a six yard gain there. The good news is that means that UCLA will score very quickly, which will give us a chance to get the ball back. Running play did not work. UCLA has had basically no success running the ball. So it's pretty much had to, be, had to be passing the whole time. UCLA unfortunately is in the red zone, but fortunately they did it quickly. So we have a chance to get the ball back. I was hoping that would just go ahead and be a touchdown so that we could get the ball back, but instead they're going to use up more of the clock and get a first down but not the touchdown when there's only a yard between the touchdown and the first down how does that even happen oh we got a sack eh, that's not necessarily a good thing the clock is just running down very quickly okay we could get a stop here it's third and goal now And a contested ball and it's batted down. So UCLA with the choice. And it looks like they're going to go for it in fourth down. So it all comes down to this. And they get the touchdown. They dive in and barely get it. That's about as close as you can be. And they're going to have to go for the two. And they're going to get it. So they have consistently tied up the game and even taken the lead at times. And they are not going to take the onside kick. They're going to trust their defense to try to get a stop in one minute and go into overtime. So here we go. We're going to get, oh wow, that's a great kick return. 23 yard return down to the 35. So that right there is going to be huge. And this running play right here is also going to be huge. And we get out of bounds to stop the clock. So we are at the 50 yard line with 40 something seconds left. Oh no, no, no. Okay, for a second there I thought I might have thrown an interception. Thankfully, it was not intercepted. I will go ahead and start using my timeouts because I have the tendency sometimes to wait too late and then I don't have time to call the timeouts. Oh, dangerous though. Oh, dangerous though. Everyone went to that part of the field. Not what I was expecting. Okay, I'm going to have to throw the sideline up here. It's the only thing open. I'm going to have to go out of bounds. We got the first down. Stop the clock. I really don't want to try a field goal because I'm so bad at those, especially when I don't have a good kicker. So I'm kind of nervous we're going to have to try one, but... I have time for another play here. It would at least be a close field goal. Okay, here's wide open, and we get the touchdown with two seconds left. Thankfully, I had enough time to find that. I'm really glad we didn't take a sack right there. And at this point, it doesn't matter what I go for, so I'll go for the two to make it look a little bit more impressive. And, okay, well, we won't get the two. But either way, there's only two seconds for UCLA to do something. Very unlikely with how slow their players are that they will be able to get anything here besides just some yards. <laughs> I don't think they're going to get any more points out of this. Okay, all day to throw. Everyone is in coverage and nowhere to go with the ball. It's just going to have to be a throw to double coverage. Actually, triple coverage. There were somehow three people there uh, defending that one player. And that will end the game. We come out with a close win, 36 to 30 with two seconds left. We scored. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that exciting game. It's another close one. We've had several exciting ones, and I uh, hope you'll join me next week.